Hello, everybody. My name is Boy. What the fuck was that? Don't do that. That is a really douchey thing to do. Why did it just jolt me back? Okay, so I can't go down there anymore. Ooh. Ooh. I almost overlooked this. Hey, cool. What do we got? Classified notes. Oh, this is me. Okay, location 1880 Washburn Hill. That was the location that the little girl was told to remember with the gun. All right. Subject has been patterned to execute a covert mission to neutralize blah. A federal prosecutor believed to possess classified blah documents. Can intelligence reports suggest that said documents are in his personal firearm? Located in his office, room 457 at 1180 Washburn Hill. Neutralize blah. Destroy blah documents. Subject notes. Subject has been overall reacting very well to the treatment. Some signs of resistance were spotted early on as short room therapy was applied for a period of three months to positive efforts. <laughs> subject has displayed an affection tie to her partner on the assignment, subject 97. But we do not see any performance issues of the results of this. We will monitor their interactions closely leading up to the deployment. Both subjects entered the Hell Hector program around the same time and were admitted due to arson related infractions. However, it was blah, I was never on the little uh, Korean village. There were understandably doubts about pairing 98 with him due to the severity of his infractions, but because of the sensitive nature of the assignment, some redundancies were added to ensure its successful completion. I think I am the other subject. That's probably who I am, and that's probably the reason why I'm hearing that little, er, the girl's voice in my head. Oh, hey! You're back! Hey! hey! You stay away from me! I didn't do nothing! Almost hit me! Ah, uh, you barely grazed my nose! Uh, God damn, that hurt real bad! Ow! Ow! My pride is hurt worse than my nose, though. Cause it didn't actually hurt. You didn't actually hit me. Okay, that's no- Hello! Oh, a choice, you said. Hello! Oh, another choice, how delightful. Oh, a nod choice. Great. I'll go right. Thanks, eyeless dude. Thanks, eyeless dude number two. Thanks, eyeless dude number three and four. You don't get your full name read. I don't like you, number four. All right, what else? Show me. Show me. Show me your kung fu. Oh, this room looks great. Oh, hey. Am I going to start the fire? Am I in 1180? I'm in 1180, aren't I? I'm in 1180. Oh, I see. So I need to go back to the other avenue and then go the other direction. Uh, I am an arsonist, that's why I'm hearing. Stop the water, start the fire, stop the water, start the fire. Oh, four, five, seven. That's the room. That's the room I'm supposed to enter at 1180 because this whole thing was just brainwashing me to commit arson or murder someone. What is dark in here? Oh, hey! Well, that was effective. Oh, he vanished into blood! Okay, then. Alrighty then. So I'm- I'm imagining the other girl that I've been seeing hallucinations of was my partner in crime. It got dark. Is that the sound of blood? My blood? Cool! Alright! Great. Hey, I started the fire! Good for- uh oh, I better- I better go. I better go. That guy's dead. We did good. We did our job. Hello! Stop the water, start the fire, stop the water, start the fire, stop the water. Oh, we stopped the water! I stopped the sprinklers! Oh. Oh. Hey, look, a window. Hey, lady, to the window. To the wall over there. It's getting hot in here. Sweat dropping down. Anything? You know, whatever. Okay, so they want to get in. We obviously done bad. We're gonna burn. We're gonna burn. Oh shit, oh no. Oh, is this the way that it ends? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, is that a collectible? Yeah, I got a collectible. Everything's gonna be okay, lady. I don't even know your name. Uh, well. All right then. top of her. Sitting on her- oh, great. Great, great. Oh, good. Ow. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I died. Like, I knew something was going on. The whole thing was just a test to get my brain programmed to do something. But it was actually kind of cool because, like, it, the representative of the levels in this game were actually really intriguing to the story. Because it was the same place. That was the very thematically thing that you needed to know. It was the same place repeated a million times because you didn't know where you were going to go. But it was a really good game. Like, that was really cool. The only problem was, like... Why was the monster there? I think the monster was just a device to create a little more scare and risk into the game. It, it didn't need to be there, but it did add a little element of panic and chase. But still, like, this was a good game. For the technology that it had, it wasn't very well polished or anything. It wasn't like AAA quality. It was still very good. For an indie company, I would actually say that this is not bad at all. Like, I had a lot of fun playing this. I had a, I had a great time figuring out the story because the story was told very piecemeal. Now. Another problem I had is, in the last segment of it where I was trying to find the chess pieces where I found page after page after page after page of notes, 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 notes. And going from the situation where I was completely lost to suddenly I'm finding all these pieces of the story, it kind of was thematically different, but not entirely unrelated to everything else. It, it still helped piece it together quickly, but I imagine that the game had to be wrapped up pretty soon. Uh, as many of these indie development games do, but it was still very good. For what it was, I think the team is only five people large. Not a bad game at all. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this game in the description below. That's great. It's totally pitch black. Great. Everything's dead. I'm dead. We're all dead. Not you guys. You're not dead. You're alive in my heart. But my heart, that's probably burned up too. So thank you everybody so much. Check out the other scary and cool games that I've played in the annotations over there or in the description below. I played a lot of them. Check them out. Check out some Amnesia custom stories, because a lot of this kind of reminded me of Amnesia. A lot of it kind of reminded me of Penumbra, which was very interesting, but I got a lot of inspiration for various games. Vanish, Penumbra, uh, that other game that I mentioned a few episodes back, they were all really cool. So check it out. Thank you again, everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! There's like this horror story. I don't know what specific people pasta this based on.